Hi, welcome to the restaurant show here on CW57. My name is Ryan Asher. Asking to stay tuned because today we have our friends from Freshy Stoppin' as well as Club Tavern, all that and so much more. The restaurant show here on CW57. Hello and welcome back to the restaurant show. Right now we are joined by Jack from Freshy. Jack, how are you doing today? Doing terrific. Thanks, Ryan. How are you doing? Not bad at all. Happy to have you back. Thank you. I'm excited. Today we're going to talk about the most important meal of the day and probably to me the best tasting meal of the day. <laughs> breakfast. And you have a, a special breakfast burrito with you today aside from the oatmeal. Mm -hmm. I want to start with this guy. Tell us a bit about him. So this is our Ranchero burrito, and mm -hmm. if you're like me growing up here in the Madison area, uh, you're probably a lot of meat and potato breakfasts, you know, the egg, the bacon, yep. maybe some hash browns. Uh, with ours, we mix in some pico de gallo in here. I don't know if we can mm -hmm. get a shot with the camera. Oh, uh, sure. We've got the, the beans and avocados mixed in there as well, and it's a whole wheat tortilla. So uh, basically it's a big, hearty breakfast in a burrito, and first time I took a bite of it, honestly, I was just blown mm -hmm. away. I was just like, there's so much good flavor in here tastes good, it really fills you up, and you don't feel like bogged down afterwards. So yeah, with, well with what's included in there, you're going to have, like you said, a lot of those very healthy items. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be filling, so it's going to be a hearty breakfast, but still very healthy things for you. Yeah, absolutely. So that, that sounds fantastic. So we have that, the Ranchero Breakfast Burrito, which I'm, yep. I'm going to have to try that. <laughs> and then over here, some a little bit simpler, maybe a little bit lighter, yep. warm you up, some mm -hmm. oatmeal. Yeah, we use a steel cut oatmeal. And uh, one of our regulars, JR, uh, has been coming in a lot lately, and this is his custom dish that we uh, mm -hmm. brought today. So even though we've got our regular oatmeal dishes on the menu where you can get like almonds and nuts and blueberries and things like that, uh, what JR has in his is the blueberries, mint, and some coconut milk added for a little bit of sweetness. Okay. And uh, it's just tremendous. So um, my point with that one is if you're a person who maybe is looking to do something a little different or mm -hmm. you have your own um, diet that you're looking for to include. We're all about flexibility and customizing things. So if you want us to make a custom oatmeal or a breakfast burrito or pocket for you each day, just let us know. Uh, the breakfast pockets basically is we take a half a tortilla and fold it into tri triangles so you can get like a bacon, egg, and cheese okay. or a spinach mushroom sure. pocket and uh, also very tasty. So I, I'm, I'm with the blueberries. I love blueberries. That coconut milk, that sounds like a good idea. I'm going to have to try that, so thank you. Uh, but it's really easy for you guys to be able to do that customization or mix things up because everything you make is fresh, like yep. the freshest of fresh. Absolutely. Uh, same thing, actually, I want to point out with your uh, pico de gallo, too. Mm -hmm. You actually make that stuff. Yeah, it's an in-house. We make it every day. We go through so much of it, and uh, we just make it from scratch. It's got the cilantro, onions, tomatoes, and the uh, oil in there. And um, I've even had people who uh, make their own pico, and I remember this woman asking me, oh, is your pico good? And I had her try a little sample taste, mm -hmm. and she gave me the double thumbs up, yeah, that's some good pico that we did there. So I take that one to heart that yes, we're making a good pico de gallo that people are gonna appreciate. Is your pico, damn right it's good I made it, that's why it's good. <laughs> so, so then with the, the oatmeal, so what, you have a, a large variety of different things you can mm -hmm. do with that oatmeal then I'm assuming too, yep. with the different fruits and, yep. and mixtures. We've that. got uh, blueberries, strawberries, and mangoes, we've got walnuts and almonds, and then you can also mix in other items if you like as well, just depending on what you're, you know, what you're looking for. Okay, and that goes with all the burritos as well, especially the ranch breakfast breakfasting. We're on the breakfast menu items today. Uh, now, with that, I also want to mention if you're in a rush to go to work, you want to call ahead in the morning, get things done, pick it up because you're in a rush. Yep. You guys can always call ahead and make Please your do. orders. Eight two one zero two zero nine is our number. And we're open at 7 a.m. Monday through Friday. At Saturday, we open at 8 a.m. Mm -hmm. And like I said, we're having more and more people that are finding out about us and saying, hey, this is quick, it's convenient, it tastes great every time. So if you're looking to a quick, healthy breakfast on your way to work or to an event, uh, please stop by. We're located at 422 Gammon Place. Uh, it's right by the corner of Mineral Point and Gammon Road there. Yeah, right on the west side. Very easy to get in and out. Great location and fantastic food. Uh, and aside from these, you have some new menu items as well you're mm -hmm. telling me about. Yeah, so uh, we'll be uh, rolling these out next week, actually. Uh, by the time this uh, episode is airing, we should have those available for you to try okay. out. Uh, but we've got uh, kimchi, which is a fermented spicy cabbage. It's very popular in Korea. Right. You might see it at, if I uh, go to a Korean barbecue place. Big trend internationally, and Freshy just thought so many people are really enjoying this. Let's add it in to some of our menu options. So we have a kimchi bowl that you can add with like chicken and other vegetables and things like that. Sure. Um, then the other new menu item is the sushi burrito, which we've nicknamed the Sushido. 
And okay. if you're used to seeing how uh, sushi gets made, we're going to be making it uh, with the nori, the seaweed, on the bamboo roller with the rice, and you can either put in kimchi or the other items, and mm -hmm. we roll it up and basically cut it in half. So rather than small, little bite-sized ones, you can actually hold it, eat it like, a, like you would a normal burrito, uh, but it's going to give you a lot of the vitamins sure. and minerals, just very healthy version of sushi and a burrito. That seems like a much more convenient way to eat sushi if you're like me. Just Absolutely. Like to eat it and yes. get done with it because it's fantastic. <laughs> so that's the kimchi and the nori and sushi and some, some of those great new menu mm -hmm. items. So that'll be actually available at Fresh Eat right now by the time you guys watch this. So something to look forward to with that. And aside from that, you've been doing a couple little events, mm -hmm. things like that. Yeah, I want to so inform everybody about some of the cool things you've been doing with Freshy. Yeah, so um, this summer, you know, of course, there's lots of activities to be doing in Madison, and we've been partnering with some of the other uh, health and wellness groups around town. Uh, you might notice the bright green shirt I'm wearing today. Uh, that was given to me by the nice folks over at Lululemon. Thank you very much. Uh, we did a sampling event with them, with the uh, folks over at Psych Bicycling Studio downtown. Mm -hmm. Steve and the gang down there, where they uh, biked there, then ran to Lululemon, and then we did some sampling. Uh, we've also done some sampling events with the Pure Bar Studio and a few other gyms and locations around town. So a big thank you to all the people here in Madison that made us feel very welcome with opening a new store and helping to grow each other's business. The, uh, the buzz around town's been nothing but positive and I'm sure we'll uh, be getting more and more people come to visit us. Okay, so a lot of those local businesses working together, providing much better things for you, the customers, whether it's working with Lululemon, going to get your lunch or your breakfast or things like that at Fresh Eat, just a lot of great different options. Mm -hmm available like that. And besides that, we also are doing a lot of more catering. Mm -hmm. So if there's any events around town that people know about, uh, please give us a call or send us an email. Uh, you can email me, jack at freshy.com. Um, but basically, people have been finding out that um, having these healthier options, especially if you're doing meetings or trainings, uh, it's really beneficial. The people's brains are getting fueled up, and rather than wanting to take a nap at 2 p.m., yeah. they're going through the full day feeling good and really um, uh, the feedback that I've gotten from like uh, sales reps and things that have brought Freshy out to other businesses, sure. overwhelmingly positive. People have just been blown away by the food options. So you, if you have some meetings like that going on and you want to get that catering down, how early should people call just so you have everything ready and kind of set to go? Uh, the more advanced notice is always helpful so we can make sure we got everything ready and adequate staffing. Uh, if you can give us 24 hours notice, that's best. Uh, we do get sometimes just a little short notice, mm -hmm. hey, I've got a meeting, any chance you can give us like a dozen wraps or something so we can uh, feed our people. And we're always to hap help you to help out. Help, huh. Happy Shred to help out. <laughs> yeah, you know what I meant to say. They're happy to help out whenever we can. So please just uh, give us a call or shoot us an email. And the catering is absolutely fantastic. Same with their breakfast. I, I strongly urge you guys to go try it out. I'm going to have to try the Ranchero uh, breakfast burrito. He, he talked me up on that, so I'm ready to go. <laughs> but uh, Jack, thanks for joining us here in the restaurant show today. Freshy, check him out over on the west side. We'll be right back after this. Coming up next on the restaurant show, Joe from the Club Tavern stops in. Welcome back to the restaurant show. Right now, I'm joined by my friend Moose from the Club Tavern over in Middleton. Hello. How are you doing, Ryan? Good, Moosey. How are you today? I hear you got a party coming up. Uh -huh. You're gonna. I hear you want to get together with a thousand of your closest friends. You don't have to have a special occasion, but it's your birthday, I heard. It's so, coming. It, it is coming? Yeah. Okay, now you're of, of age, correct? We I am. All right, so we can talk alcohol, too. All right. We do a lot of catering at the Club Tavern. Mm -hmm. So you're going to call me up, you're gonna, either you're going to get on the phone or you're going to send me an email and go, Moose, I want to have a party. I'm going to ask you some pertinent questions. How many people? Okay. What the date? Right. What the time? Most importantly is, what's your budget? Sure. In your case, we'll be doing mac and cheese. <laughs> All right. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my case, we'll probably be doing mac and cheese also, but uh, that's here and there. So, We'll sit down, we'll talk our way through the party, get all the, all the dynamics figured out, figure out how many people we got coming, figure out what needs to be cooked when, what needs to be cooked where. Sure. We'll come to your house, you can come to my house. We'll go anywhere for you. Mm -hmm. We uh, have been at Lambeau Field cooking for the UW Marching Band. 
We've been down in Tennessee cooking for occasions. Oh. We go all over for the right occasion. Uh, but most of the time we're, we're in Dane County. So you're gonna have your, you're gonna have your, uh, your, your party down at Lakeview Park. Sounds good. Yeah. And you wanna have burgers, you wanna have brats. Mm -hmm. And you wanna have chicken breast sandwiches. You ask us to bring it there and cook it there because you want it nice and fresh. Mm -hmm. You also want to have the fun. Everybody likes to stand around the grill. Oh yeah. Beer in hand, talking about the, about the whole schmooze. So we'll be down there, we'll be cooking it up for you. The sides, the green bean almondine, the baked beans, the cheesy hash browns, all those sides, we'll do back at the tavern. Sure. And transport them nice and warm to the, the site and serve them up to you. Mm -hmm. Then we can also do the full line of, of any and all, all beverages you like. We can do water, we can do beer, we can do pop, we can do anything. Wow. We make a killer homemade hand squeezed lemonade. Mm -hmm. We do a raspberry lemonade. Anything for the sweet taste of, of you, we can, we can cater to. I like it. Uh, today, we brought along some, some uh, beer broiled brats and brought along some burgers. So we have some catering samples here today. Yes. All right. Yes. So everything is brought to you. These chafers. Keep them nice and warm. All right. Like I said, we have the beer boiled brats and have a green bean almondine here. And, uh, these are a four to one burger. We can do a four to one or a three to one mm -hmm. or a half pound burger if you like. Oh. The and the, the big boys. And then cheesy hash browns in this case. Cheesy Are those the same as your mooskies then or no? No, these are different than the okay. mooskies. These these are just cheese, just cheese and, and hash browns. All right. And that looks fantastic. Yeah, that does, but the mooskies, the mooskies are over the top. They are. They're the, che they're the cheesy hash browns with bacon, mm -hmm. lots of bacon, onions, and Swiss cheese added to the cheddar jack. And that's another option people can get. You to? betcha. Wow. You betcha. Right. Plus, we can do French fries, we can do uh, steak fries, we can do potato chips. If it's a potato, we can do it. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Sounds good. Yeah, our loaded, our loaded uh, potato salad is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. um, right now, we're looking at a lot of graduation parties, but we'll do company picnics. Unfortunately, we do funerals too, but that's, that's part of the, the position and the job. But we'll come to any occasion you want to have celebrate, we'll be there for you. So would you do, you do birthdays, you would do maybe new baby parties? Oh, love so to do a new baby party. literally, you could go from life to death with Club Tavern Cater. You betcha. We had a real fun one the other day. Mm -hmm. We did a diaper party for a gentleman. i have never done one before. You know, rather than a baby shower, it was mm -hmm. for, for a guy. And it was the first time we had done one, and it was a blast. Interesting. Yeah, uh, all the guys brought uh, uh, diapers and uh, you know, baby wipes and uh, really beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful uh, stroller setup. Mm -hmm. So that was a lot of fun. So with your catering, what's the biggest amount of people that Club Tavern has dealt with? Well, we got one coming up, at, uh, UW Health Week. Okay. And uh, we feed uh, all the different clinics in Dane County throughout the week. And then on, on the end of the week, we feed the UW Hospital. Oh, goodness. It's lunch for 4,500 of my closest friends. 4,500. Yep. That's a lot of fun. I can imagine. Yeah. It's a, it, you, it takes a little chore, choreography and, uh, to get it down, but we get, it, we get it through. And you got the staff to do it. I can attest yeah. to that. You got great people. What about on the other end of things? What's the smallest amount of people you could help out? Um, we just did a, a party for 12 today. Okay. Uh, being Seiko de Mayo, we have a great buffet today, and they want yep. to know if we deliver a buffet. So, sure. We, lo sense. we loaded up the buffet, brought it over in chafing dishes, and, and Humana had a great meal today. So, Sounds great. Yeah. So, big or small, we'll be glad to be there. Great. And I also want to point out, now that weather's finally starting to heat up, we're getting into spring and summer here, you guys have not one, not two, but three volleyball courts this year, correct? Correct. We're, we're uh, utilizing the courts at Bowling Green. Okay. Um, I've got plenty of spaces left over there. We're trying to get a men's fours league going and a women's fours league going. Uh, haven't had a chance to do one of those in a few years. So hopefully we can get one of them going. So if anyone is really into some good competitive volleyball, give Moose a call at the Club Tavern. Either men's fours or women's fours. And with that, you don't have to have a full team. You can just put your name in there and you guys will kind of put them with the you team. You betcha. We'll for do people our... that are interested in playing. Yeah, we'll find someone to help you. And, and one of the good things, one of the things I like about Club Tavern, I've played there for a while now, 
You guys have pitcher races among your players. No, teams, no, not? no, no, not at all. No, no, we uh, we don't encourage drinking one bit. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, uh, we have, give out these little cards that uh, you drink four pitchers or five pitchers or six pitchers. Musa by the seventh. Okay. And then you turn them back in when they're full, and we get you up on a scoreboard, and and the, the team that has the most pitchers at the end of the season, I pay for the next season the volleyball. Oh wow! So yeah. that's. Add an incentive. Yeah. If, if it happens to be your softball team that wins, mm -hmm. we have a different incentive. It'll be a cash uh, situation. We win a lot. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, they do. And, and keep in mind, while you're out there and you're filling those pitchers and things like that, Club Tavern always has a safe ride system and a way to get home, so no one has to worry about that either. You know, it's not only just the Club Tavern, but we do a really good job with it. If you're anywhere out and about in Dane County and you don't think you should be driving, talk to your bartender. Mm -hmm. They'll get you home. I don't know of an establishment in Dane County that won't do their best to make sure you're home safe and sound. So if you don't think you should be driving, talk to your bartender. Sounds They'll good. take good care of you. Words of wisdom. Keep that in mind. If you're out, have a good time. Don't drive home impaired. That's nope. not what anyone wants. Club Tavern, also great food, great drinks, and as you can see, catering for any number of people. Graduation coming up and a lot of other events. Moose, thanks for coming out here today. Glad to be here. You know, you got to come on out to Middleton, it's right in the middle of it, and mo tell them who's setting you. And yeah! There you go. We'll be right back with more of the restaurant show after this. Coming up next on the restaurant show, the 1855 Saloon and Grill stops by. Hello and welcome back to the Restaurant Show. Right now I'm joined by Owen King and Shirley Langer, my friends from the 1855 Saloon, and today we're gonna to be talking about, well, my favorite food at least, pizza. And you guys have some fantastic pizza. What makes it so special at the Saloon? Well, if you've ever been there, it's a great, great thing to watch. As, as you sit at the bar, you watch the guy make the pizza right in front of you. We have a live fire going on. Um, all the freshest ingredients to go on top of your pizza. As you can see, we have quite the variety here today. Um, so, you know, we like to think we do pizzas very, very well. Um, it adds a nice touch to the restaurant. Um, I know Shirley's excited to talk about a few of them. Yeah, well, Shirley, what do we got? You got a couple specific ones over here that you brought along, right? We do. Starting with the Thai pizza. Uh, very unique. Um, you can either get it with chicken or shrimp. Um, and then it is topped with jalapeno coleslaw, which is cold. So it's really a unique combination. Yeah, a little bit of kick mixture. to it. Yeah, okay. yeah. And then we've got the buffalo chicken, uh, chicken and buffalo sauce. Uh, the margarita pizza. Uh, you can get it with sausage or pepperoni, uh, with pesto. Okay. Uh, other another another popular um, adding. Sell a lot of those. Yep, yeah. yep. Um, and then we've got the Hawaiian pizza, your traditional uh, ham and pineapple, and then a ranch baked, which is really unique. Uh, we've got ranch sauce on the base instead of your regular Ooh, marinara. All right. And then um, chicken, sun-dried tomatoes, bacon, and onions. So it's, it's a favorite, very popular. Those look good. And then we got a couple more over here. Yeah, and, and all our dough is made fresh daily. So we fresh make daily. yeah, we make okay. all the dough every day for the pizzas. Um, so that's that's a great thing. Um, right up front here, we got the wood fire pizza, which is. Uh, our top selling pizza that's got fresh goat cheese on it. Mm -hmm. It's got some spinach, uh, some peppers, some mushrooms. Very, very good. Also vegetarian, so, All right. which is a nice kick for that. Mm -hmm. um, pizza over here we got, and it's hard to tell at home, but we have a category that's called tossed and topped. So that means if you don't like what you see in front of you, you can build your own pizza. Oh, wow. So if you want a little bit All of right. coleslaw, you can yeah. have a little coleslaw. You want a little topping from the taco, you can do that. You want to mix and match with the, the rusty pizza or the margarita pizza, you can do all those things. And then the taco one's the one I gotta ask you about. That's It's heaping with stuff. What are some of the choices that people have when they're making this taco pizza? Well, you can do it a couple different ways. You can add you know, chicken or beef if you so choose. Mm -hmm. You don't have to. You get the fresh fresh made daily guacamole on top of it, some sour cream, right. some br bruschetta tomatoes on top of there, uh, mixed cheeses, some freshly sliced lettuce, so excellent. And then one of the things we want to point out too, 
you guys have gluten-free options for these pizzas as well, correct? We do, we do. And you know, as we've kind of talked about, that's becoming a major market out there. It's a definite need for the folks in the community mm -hmm. to have that option and we're happy to provide it. We really are. It's a great option to have. You know, pizza is something everybody loves. So if you can't have the gluten, they got you with the gluten-free pizzas. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Um, also, so we have a huge variety and I kind of want to try all of them. So if some of our viewers want to come out and try pizza, do you guys have any specials or nights where people can come out and, and try some of these wood fire grill pizzas? Certainly, the great night to uh, come out is Wednesday night. We do okay. have $5 off of our pizzas. Oh, wow. And um, it's also $4 house wines by the glass. Mm -hmm. So uh, come on out, enjoy a beautiful glass of wine out on the patio and uh, a pizza. And you mentioned the patio, so the outdoor patio, it's up and ready to roll? It is, it is. We've started our 90 days of summer, starting right. Memorial Weekend, running through Labor Day weekend. And so, yeah, come on out. So nothing better than that. That's Wednesday night, you're saying, correct? Right. Wednesday night, $5 off pizza, $4 glass of wine, and eat it out on the patio, 90 days of summer. I'm getting excited already, <laughs> even though the weather's not cooperating. Uh, what are some other things that we have going on at 1855 Saloon and Grill right now? Um, well, we're, we're excited to be able to do a Father's Day weekend kind All of right. buffet coming up on Sunday for Father's Day. We haven't done one in the past, so this will be our first year doing it. Um, so we're excited to do that. I think that, you know we should have a good turnout and you know go golfing in the morning, come for brunch afterwards. Is that something where you're taking reservations on the day? Absolutely. We'll take right. any and all size reservations for that. So we're excited to do it. I think we'll have a great day. Fantastic. Dads need love too. And take right. them out. You can see some of the great food varieties and they're going to have a buffet out there. Get your reservation set. And as he said, take dad for golf. Be a great way to start the morning. Right. Um, right. And as always, I got to ask about the cocktails. You guys have such a wide variety. Tell us a little bit about what you brought here today. Sure. Um, also Wednesday is also our $5 any vodka martini. Okay. So anything from Absolute, Grey Goose to Kettle One to all of our flavored vodkas as well. And um, everything, our uh, menu has 20 just suggested martinis that we have. Wow. So um, lots to choose from, lots of fun. Well, I know. It sounds like every night's a good night to go, but Wednesday yeah. night's the night to be there, I'm thinking, huh? <laughs> Absolutely, yep. Yeah, you can't beat a good cold martini out on the patio with a nice wood-fired pizza. I know, yep. It's, yep. it's a great night. And not only that, Aside from all the martinis they have, all the specials on pizza, you guys have one of the most impressive beer collections in the area, correct? We do, and you know, we try to keep all our beer 90 mile-ish from mm -hmm. the restaurant, so we're big supporters of the local brewers. Um, so we want to support them and help them push their product and, and get some light shined on it. But yeah, we, we do a lot of it. We're, we're proud to do it, we're happy to do it. Great work with Vintage. I know I see them on this show yep. from time to time, so they do a great job for us. So we're excited to do the beer. And you know, we've done a couple of these and we got all kinds of other stuff. Big menu to choose from, large seating, you know, the, the pizza going in the oven, fun watching that, you know, and I'm excited to do it. And, and it's a great opportunity. I was just looking over the menu before we got started here and the appetizer menu just kind of blew my mind. You could almost do a, a full meal just looking off that list too. So a lot of great things going on. The patio is now open. Be sure to check that out. Father's Day, get your reservation set. They're going to do a buffet for that, which is obviously going to be fantastic. And make sure you do not miss them on Wednesday. A huge variety of martinis, $4 wines, $5 off of pizza, and can't iterate it enough. Summer's here in Wisconsin in the patio is finally open. So it's the 1855 Saloon and Grill. Owen oh, Shirley, thank you so much for coming out. Thank you, sir. Thanks. We appreciate it. We're going to see them next time. We'll see you guys coming up right after this. We have more Restaurant Show coming right up. Thank all of you for tuning into the Restaurant Show this week. We also want to thank all of our restaurants for stopping by. Make sure you stay tuned to CW all week long to learn some of the best places to eat here in Madison and the surrounding areas. It's the Restaurant Show here on CW57, so you can eat the best, forget the rest. <laughs>